Hey there folks, close come by 51 millimeter back here at the end of the trail again doing another vlog. Uh, I got some uh, Remington UMC ammo, 50 rounds of it for my AR-15 and when I get back home I will do a like a little you know video on that. I'm going to be testing it out. Me and my sister were going to go out and uh, shoot today but it's kind of hit and miss on the rain. We was going to go shoot at the cabin, so that'll probably be later this week. I know we're going to the range later this week. But I got a quick story to tell you about the Taco Bell run that we had. And uh, it's quite strange. Okay, so me and my sister, we pull up into the drive through at Taco Bell. And this woman in the minivan in front of us gets out and says, Okay, you need to back up, please, and then you can go through the line. It is so strange, wasn't it? Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. So she just, like she just randomly got out and was like, "Okay, you need to back up and, and leave, and then you can go." And that's like, "Okay." So we just decided, you know what? Screw this. We're going to go inside and order our food. And so we went inside, ordered our food, and got out of there. But that was weird. It was like, uh, was it like she's having a breakdown or something? Like a mental breakdown? She looked like she had a stressed look on her face. Describe it, but it was just, it, it was kind of like she was just not there fully. Something was wrong with her. She, she just, because she was initially not in front of us, but she pulled in front of us before we pulled into the line. And then she just got out and said that we needed to back up and, and, and then we could get into the line. So I was like, the thing of it is, is that she was already in the parking lot and then she just decided to get in line in front of us and then tell us to do that. Yeah. It was weird. Very weird. Well, anyway, I'll continue to the video, uh, the ammo part. So, I hear the police. Strange. Well, anyway, holy shit. <laughs> Somebody shot something big over that way. Well, I'll get back home and do the video about the ammo if I don't get sniped. <laughs> Alright, so yesterday we went up to Dunham's and I bought some Remington UMC 223 Remington 55 grain full metal jacket says as a muzzle velocity of 3,240 feet per second but they did the testing with a 24 inch barrel I imagine that was a bolt gun it was it's 24.99 but after tax it was $26 which isn't really that bad for 50 rounds of 223 I'll open it up and let you all see They're all in nice condition. I mean, some of the primers are black and the others are gold. But if they run through my gun, I'll be happy. Uh, I'll do ammo test of five or five, like, you know, two five round groups of 10 rounds. And I will see what they do at 100 yards and then I'll be sure to save some of this back because right now I have no factory 223 ammo whatsoever for my AR-15. I have shot it all up. Which is easy to do because I've noticed with my AR, I tend to point this stuff a lot more. Like I don't really, it, it's like with the 308, for example, you kind of have this gut feeling that, hey, maybe I shouldn't shoot all of this up. Maybe I should s save some for later. That's just me. But with 223, it's just like a big, big uh, 22. But I plan to get more of that stuff. That Remington UMC because that's a good price unless of course we have another you know disaster and the liberals start croaking about guns and there's a gun scare okay so the 308 I got now this was from way the other day this is some PMC bronze 308 Winchester 147 grain full metal jacket with a velocity of 200 or not 200 uh, 2780 feet per second muzzle velocity and I've looked this stuff over too. It's some nice stuff. I've shot this stuff before, but I did not. I, I can't remember if I did the ammo test on it or not. I think it may have just ended up getting plinked into a wood pile or into a piece of junk or something. But I will do the test on this again. I forget exactly how it, how it grouped. But I will do it again nonetheless. So, 
got another ammo test for the M1A and AR and then this was fourteen dollars at the gun store I bought it so not bad that's even cheaper than Federal XM80C at Walmart so that was a good deal I'll go out there and get some more of that stuff too and then finally I think I've showed this before I got some 308 Winchester Remington 150 grain core locked PSP ammo and I'll open this up and let's see if yes, the carrier is that way and I'll do another test on this stuff here to see how it groups at 100 yards because I do plan to do a video uh, like I did with the XM80C where I talked about it and how the M1A shoots it and stuff in my opinion of the ammo for the M1A I've shot a lot of this stuff through it and it, it seems to like it so that's all the ammo I got for factory ammo I mean I have a few more I have a few more boxes of factory ammo for the M1A but that 50 bolt pack was a uh, was a score and I'll definitely have to go up there and buy some more of this stuff for my AR because that's 50 rounds of going out and having some fun and I also can't wait to see how it will group at 100 yards so that will all come later this week we shall see me and my sister it depends it, it all depends on the weather uh, what the weather is going to do if it if it rains or snows uh, chances of getting out probably less likely we may go to the range but I don't know about the church farm church farm because the road most of the roads on the church farm are mud and dirt uh, well, they turn to mud when water gets on, but they're mostly dirt. There's only one part of it that's grappled up. So, we'll see. But anyway, that's what I got ammo-wise for testing. Some PMC Bronze 308, and then some Remington UMC 223, and then Remington Core Locked 308. So, stay tuned. I've, that's what I've got planned. I'm going to be doing a video on my AR-15. That's what I have these scopes here for. I was going to do a video on it the other night, but I had other stuff come up and couldn't get to it. So that's what I've got planned. Let me see. The magnification range being stubborn. There we go. Oh, there we go. It's being weird. But uh, these are the two scopes I had on the AR-15 prior to the Redfield, and I was going to talk about them. So I'll do that video sometime soon, too. I just got sidetracked and had other stuff come up. So until my next video, stay tuned. Got ammo tests coming and some other stuff. See you all in the next video. Well, we're up here in this field, and it's kind of mushy. That's our dog Sammy. They got a little path war right here, right through there where that fence is down. People do. I'm trying to see if we can see any signs of anything. I doubt it. But it ain't that bad muddy, but it's still, it could be still kind of muddy in some spots. Out at the church farm, it may be a different story. Yeah. So we'll we'll go out there later this week. Definitely. Hopefully, it'll dry out. I'm sure it will. I may put this at the end of the video. I don't know. I'm going on back down the little path. I have to do a woods walk out at the church farm yeah. when we go out there. Just do a whole, whole walk around, a little scouting. It's fun to walk around the church farm. It goes in a big old loop through a bunch of woods. I may have to do that when we go out there. <laughs>